Hey, hi everyone. So of course we have got yoga class from our Monday to Thursday, but don't think that I'm leaving you all for Friday and Saturday. We, I'll show you a few uh, posture correcting exercises. This will of course help you to do the yoga better. Who can benefit from this? Uh, the office going people, right? They often get a hunch due to the lifestyle issues. Often they are sitting on, in, I mean, you know, computers. Your children are sitting on computers. You're often on your mobile phones like that. Same goes for the gym also. When you're going to the gym also, chances are there sometimes your shoulder becomes, you know, this or something very weird it becomes. So these are the particular exercises that will help you correct your posture. It will build a lot of strength on your upper body. So let's just start, right? I want you all to do it with empty stomach and say maybe for 5 minutes you can do or as much as your body can allow you. I'll also want to inform you one thing that you might experience a little bit of pain after uh, you do this exercise. It's because your muscle regeneration is happening, your tissues are getting built, muscles are getting torn apart a little in order to build them and make them more stronger. So don't get afraid. It may also, I mean, this is not a kind of a pain that is damaging pain, but this is more of an exercise swallow pain. Okay, so let's just start quickly. So as I told you that this will help you with three purposes. One, to realign your shoulders to get them back in a place. Second, to build the shoulder strength. And third, it will help you to open up your shoulders. So let's start. Sit in a Padmasana. Do it with empty stomach. Don't forget. Sit in a Padmasana, take the table position, here find a place which has got around 1 feet height where you can rest your hands. Now here you will rest your hands like this, make sure you are not like you know squeezing them, thoda sa ekdam aise andar tight mat karna, thoda keep them open parallel, your elbow should be parallel to your arms. Now bend. Bend completely. What will happen is push your chest. Okay. What will happen is you will start to feel an amazing stretch from your hands to your arms. This will help you build the strength. Okay. Stay there as much as you can. You can choose to come back if you can't hold on for long. One thing that you have to take care of is you are not squeezing your spine from the neck area. Okay. Come back. Now this particular exercise is for maybe the young people. The one who has got a little bit of confidence. The one who is little healthy. For them it is. If you have got some medical issues like spondylitis, vertigo. Or maybe other complications. I will suggest that you do not do this. The children, maybe someone who is going to gym, maybe someone who is feeling that yes, they can pursue it, you should do it. Get back to me with your feedback and remember I have told you that I want you all to click a small video, okay? Don't forget about that. Thank you. Make a best use of Friday, Saturday. The second exercise that we have been do doing our, during our yoga sessions also, that is to strengthen the muscles around your kneecap. This will greatly help you to perform asanas very swiftly. Do it as long as you can. 20 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Do it as long as you can. Okay, I'll just quickly show you once again. Lie down on the floor. Try and stick your hips to the wall. And stretch your legs. Make sure you're pointing your toes straight and your legs are not in a shavasana. Okay. Thereafter, stay in a comfortable position. See that you don't have a backache. Okay. Activate your thighs and stay there. Stay there as long as you want. Okay, I want you all to make the best out of this Friday and Saturday. If you have a capacity, try and take the one leg up. When you are taking one leg ahead, make sure the other leg is not in a Shavasana. Then 
take another leg up again try and make sure that you are not in a shavasana now when you are doing this it will automatically happen that you are putting a pressure on your back i don't want you to do that instead i want you to hold your core don't use your back and a spine to support that particular movement hold your core tight and then do it you will see the effect okay do it as long as you want if you have a capacity take both the legs ahead when you are taking both the legs ahead again hold yourself tight from the core you will feel an amazing tightening of the muscles at your thighs and leave it even if you can't take the movement of taking legs ahead just rest your feet here this will greatly help you with your varicose pain as i have mentioned you time and again so yes that's it only key to remember is not to put your legs in shavasana be very conscious of how your legs are okay